Hermitcraft. Who were the original former hermits and where are they now? With Season 8 of the popular Minecraft SMP Hermitcraft starting, some of us are just pondering on the question, how did they get here? It's pretty amazing to see how far the Hermits and Hermitcraft have evolved over the decade. Surprisingly, Hermitcraft actually started out with around 30 members on the server. That's right, around 30 individual members. Even one of the Minecraft developers, Dinnerbone, was a part of the server at one point in time. The same exact guy who has an in-game easter egg of himself. Now, most of these original Hermits have left the server sometime throughout the years, but they definitely had a lasting impact in the older seasons. In this video, I will be talking about 11 of these former Hermits that you may not have known about, and their chances of returning in future seasons. Now obviously I won't be going through all the members, because that would just make this video way too long, and it's already long enough. So, without further ado, let's get into these former Hermits. <laughs> Generic B, probably the most recognized of these former Hermits. Generic B was the original founder of the Hermitcraft server, making him the first member to ever exist. Generic B started Hermitcraft in April of 2012, and throughout the first season, he was known for many things, such as being part of the B team, an early squad comprised of many original Hermits, such as B-dubs. Unfortunately, Generic B left the server in Season 2, making Exumavoid heir to the throne, one of the reasons being he wanted to focus a bit more on Minecraft. However, in 2015, Generic B left Minecraft after not wanting to sign certain legal agreements, and in 2017, he asked if he could rejoin Hermitcraft again, yet his request got denied. Now, Generic B's last video was uploaded around 10 to 11 months ago, which was a video advertising a mod pack he created. Though, he still actively streams Minecraft on Twitch with his modded series Vault Busters which is basically a sketchy copy of Vault Hunters, which not too many people were happy about. So I'd say the chances of him returning to Hermitcraft are highly unlikely, considering that he also got denied before. Plus, he also did some troll tweets about rejoining in Season 8, so he probably doesn't really intend on actually rejoining anytime soon, which is fine. Biffa was a pretty iconic member during the early ages of Hermitcraft, and he stayed on the server for most of the seasons. Biffa originally joined in Season 1, but left after Season 6 for getting a bit bored of vanilla Minecraft. During the early ages of the server, he was a part of many storylines, such as being a member of the Agency and the OHO. Surprisingly, Biffa actually still makes videos on his channel after leaving the server, which comprises of videos based on the game City Skyline. Though, it looks like he doesn't play Minecraft anymore, considering that all of his Minecraft and Hermitcraft content has been privated on his other channel. So I'd say the chances of him rejoining Hermitcraft are far from likely. Python joined the Hermitcraft server in Season 3, but left after Season 6. He left the server after being a bit burnt out and committing more to his Terraria gameplay. Python actually has 5 channels, his main one being the one where he actively makes Terraria videos. His Minecraft channel actually comprises of some active content, such as his Let's Play series and his Legacy SMP series. Yup, Python's on the Legacy SMP. Now, this probably lowers the chances of him ever wanting to rejoin Hermitcraft, Though, maybe in the future, things would change. I mean, like, I'm not saying he has to, you know, like, ah, I'm not really that tough. Anyways, let's move on to our final former hermit who left pretty recently, which is... Just like Biffa, Jassassin joined the server in Season 1, but his activity went through a pretty swingy pattern. He only played on the server in Seasons 1, 2, 4, and 6, and he officially left after Season 6. Jassassin slowly started to become more inactive on YouTube as he moved his career and content to Twitch. Last year, he uploaded his last video on YouTube, which was an update video on where he was. He explained how he had moved to Twitch, and he also explained why he left Hermitcraft. In the video, Jassassin stated how he started feeling burnt out from Hermitcraft, and how Hermitcraft requires a lot of commitment to it. 
Now, this is pretty understandable because Hermitcraft really does require a lot of your time. So this means the assassin would definitely be unlikely to rejoin, and that's okay. People have other things to do in life, and not everyone has the will to play Minecraft 24-7. So please, just don't spam these people begging for them to rejoin. Okay, now you might be going like, Hey, you idiot, I already know these guys. I watched season 6, dummy. Well, if you do, then good for you. Because now I'm going to be talking about some OG hermits who not many people know about. Ones who left the server very early on in the seasons, but are still mentionable. Let's start off with... Pungence. Ah, Pungence. When I found out about this guy, I was pretty intrigued. Pungence, who for a fun fact is actually B00's younger brother, joined Hermitcraft in Season 1 as a form of recruitment for the B-Team against the Agency, along with Schism and Jusitra. He decided to stay on the server after helping the B-Team pull a retaliation prank on the Agency. In Season 2, Pungence and Schism were known as the server pranksters as they caused lots of mischief, such as burning down Hidden Tide's house and stealing his advocating tournament winnings, which they then got arrested for. Pungence left the server after Season 3, which Exuma stated on Reddit that they had slowly drifted apart. Currently, Pungence actually has the most subscribers out of all the former hermits, with a whopping 2 million subs. He still actively makes videos on games like Amazing Frog and Hungry Shark, though it doesn't appear that he makes Minecraft content anymore. Honestly, Pungence seems like he would be a great re-addition to rejoin Hermitcraft and reunite with his brother, but since he doesn't make Minecraft content anymore, there's a high chance that he wouldn't. Just like Pungence, Schism joined Hermitcraft in Season 1 in order to take down the Agency, and he also decided to stay on the server as well. Now, I won't describe much of Schism, since most of what I was gonna say was basically the same stuff I said about Pungence. You know, the two of them being pranksters and all. So, let's focus on where Schism is now. Schism started becoming inactive towards the end of Season 3, and eventually got taken off the whitelist like Pungence. He used to actively make videos until around a year ago. Surprisingly, Schism's last few videos were actually collab videos where he played Amazing Frog with Pungence. So, I guess it looks like they're still pretty great friends. <laughs> I wish I had friends. <laughs> his last Minecraft video on his channel was posted in late 2019, after not playing Minecraft for years. Now, since Schism hasn't uploaded a video in a year, it was a bit hard to find him in the present day, so I decided to do a little digging. It turns out that he last streamed on Twitch around 10 months ago, but that still wasn't enough. Luckily for me, I found out that Schism still made posts on Twitter, so he hasn't really disappeared from all platforms. Alright, now this individual has a much darker story than the rest of the members on this list, so I want to warn you that this part of the video may make some viewers uncomfortable. I Am Spoon joined Hermitcraft in Season 1, and he was known for being somewhat of an immature character. His videos weren't exactly kid-friendly, as he would swear constantly and make other adult jokes. I'd say that Spoon was basically the quackity of Hermitcraft. I mean, just look at their skins! Spoon also loved pranking people, like putting melons in their bases, which he apparently called spooning. He also made an entire castle out of melons, as well as a building called the Establishment of Spoontology, which he then made a second building of it in Season 2. After his time on Hermitcraft, Spoon decided to join SMP Earth, another popular SMP, but he still had yet to know the downfall that would become of him. Spoon made his last video on YouTube after three years of inactivity, but this wasn't the end of him and his content. He still streamed on Twitch after this, but only a year after posting his last YouTube video, his career took a dark turn. In June of 2020, I Am Spoon was accused of several sexual misconduct allegations as well as other inappropriate and unacceptable behavior. As the accusations and hate were too much for him, 
Spoon finally decided to make an apology doc on the 21st, which he posted on Twitter. In his apology doc, he stated how he knew he was wrong and how he was desperate to change his ways. He wished good luck and farewell in the gaming community as he revealed that he would no longer participate in any social media or platforms. Only four days later would his account be banned from Twitch following the original accusations. Honestly, in my opinion, I think that his apology was actually well written as it got straight to the point without avoiding to admit he was wrong, which is far different than modern content creator apologies today. I believe that Spoon would learn from this and become a better person like he promised. Anyways, let's move on to the next member on the list to lighten the mood a little. Monkey Farm is probably the most talented member on this list, as he was an astonishing builder. Monkey Farm joined the server in Season 1 and left in Season 4. On his time in the server, he made a lot of outstanding builds like his giant skull and his giant tree in Season 2. He also made a huge statue of himself in Season 3, holding up what appeared to be the Death Star. Now, these builds may not look too astounding, but at that time, these were basically masterpieces. Monkey Farm also had his own music channel, called Monkey Farm Music, where he only created a few soundtracks. The reason he left Hermitcraft was because of things like his job and his decrease in popularity, and his channel went a bit inactive, but he eventually made an update video in 2017. After that, he slowly started to become more active again, to the point where he wanted to rejoin Hermitcraft. Sadly, his request got denied, and he had begun to become more inactive again. So, I guess he won't be intervening in future seasons then, huh? I think he'd be a great re-addition, honestly, since he does have some pretty good building talent. Slipgator was another pretty talented hermit in the early seasons of Hermitcraft. He originally joined in Season 2 and made some pretty cool builds in his time, like his Season 3 and Season 2 bases. In fact, Slip Season 2 base was actually considered to be one of the first mega bases on Hermitcraft, which had an enormous stone spiral ribbon. He also took part in some early storylines, like being a lawyer in Pungent and Schism's trial in Season 2. Slipgator left Hermitcraft midway through Season 3, after getting a bit bored of vanilla. Currently, Slipgator has around 1 million subs, and he still actively plays Minecraft after taking a little break from it. In fact, Slip currently has a modern series in which he plays with Vintage Beef. So, it seems like he's still in contact with some hermits, which is pretty nice. Slipgator also streams on Twitch, and I actually caught him streaming once, where I asked him if he was ever planning to rejoin Hermitcraft in a future season. He then stated that it wasn't up to him to rejoin Hermitcraft or not, which means it's an invite-only server. Well, at least he still has contact with some of the hermits. Now, aside from the building aspect, what about redstone and automation? That is where Red Eyes comes in. Red Eyes was like the Etho of Season 1. He was very talented in making mob farms, which helped a lot of the other members on the server. He was also pretty great at redstone and was great friends with Hypnotized. Unfortunately, Red Eyes left during Season 2 because he had to focus more on his job. His last videos posted on his channel would be his Season 2 ABBA Caving Tournament episodes, which were in 2014, and after that, Red Eyes basically disappeared completely from all platforms. He went inactive on Twitter, Reddit, YouTube, I could literally find no present day evidence of this guy. He probably left the internet so he could go full time on his job, which actually makes a lot of sense. Maybe Red Eyes would make a return one day, who knows? But for now, it looks like he's become permanently absent from social media as a whole. Alright, at last we have reached our final member on this list, King Daddy DMAC. DMAC joined the server in Season 1, and he made some cool builds and shops throughout the seasons, such as DMAC Donalds. He was also the guy who took Pungents and Schism to jail in Season 2. DMAC left during the middle of Season 3, though he still played on some of the modded Hermitcraft servers, such as Feed the Beast and Mod Sauce. He eventually stopped making Minecraft videos as he gradually switched to videos on the game Ark. Currently, he still actively uploads videos about Ark, 
but he actually started a new Minecraft Feed the Beast series in late 2020, starring current hermits like iJevin, XP Crafted, and Hypnotized after years of not playing Minecraft. It's a pretty surprising turn, not gonna lie, and it also raises the chances of him rejoining Hermitcraft in a future season slightly. Okay, I really gotta stop talking about members rejoining, or else I'm gonna look like a hypocrite or something. Okay, those are all the former Hermits I have to talk about for you today. Um, sorry if it seems a bit long. Comment down below which of these former Hermits seem the most interesting, and what you think about Season 8 so far. If you enjoyed this video and like this type of content, make sure to like and subscribe, because in my next video, I will be analyzing why Tommy Innit hasn't taken part in Dream's manhunts yet, and if he ever does, well, when? Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, I guess, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!